Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another Antique Store Haul. This is part two of Picking in Virginia. If you would like to watch part one, I'll have it linked down below, as well as in a card in the top right hand corner of the screen. So this haul is from a place called Main Street Classics, and it's in Stevens City, Virginia. I spent a total of $88.45 on everything I'm going to show you today. Some of the items are going to be listed in my eBay store, or they should be listed in my eBay store by the time this video uploads. And then some things I'm keeping for myself, and other things will be available in my live sales. Or if you just can't wait for the live sales and you want to make sure you get your hands on it, you can always email me and I will quote you a price for any of the items that I say are for sale. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out what I got. I did find some beauty products. We're going to go left to right. So this is English Leather Cologne and Aftershave in its original box. There was a bar of soap at one point in time, but that has since disappeared slash been used. The aftershave and the cologne are full, and this is listed in my eBay store. In fact, all three of the beauty products slash cosmetics slash fragrances are listed there if you are interested in any of them. This was really interesting. Uh, this is Cody's Aspen. Uh, you get the cologne and you get the talcum powder. Brand new and sealed and it comes in a little wooden holder. And I don't think they make the talcum powder anymore because of the stuff that's in it that causes men to have cancer. But um, I know that some people still like it if they just use it on their body instead of, yeah. And then I spotted this set. This is Donna Karen, New York. Uh, it is the Cashmere Mist. It's a little gift set. There are one fluid ounce of each of the items in here. So we've got body cleansing lotion. We've got body lotion. There's a deodorant stick. And we've got the mist. And it comes in this cute little carrying case. It does have the tag. I don't know what it retailed for, but it was definitely worth picking up. So again, those three items are listed in my eBay store if you happen to be interested in them. And I think that offer, the best offer is open. So if you have a reasonable price you want to offer me for those there, I'd be willing to take it. I did find some really cool glass. Let me move the camera over. Maybe move it up a little closer. There we go. That's a little bit better. So I did find a really nice green colored Daisy and Button Rose Bowl, or Ivy Bowl. Love that. I think that's absolutely beautiful. I will probably clean these up just to make them shine a little bit better before I sell them. I got this one for a much better price than I did the blue one. So this one, uh, the price can be a little bit less than what I had for the other one. But isn't that just great? And you can use this for springtime. You could use it for Christmas time. Maybe put some candy canes in it. So many possibilities with this shade of green. I also got a, I believe this is a Fenton piece. This is one of their melon vases. And I just thought it was really nice. The, again, the price was really good. I can't wait to go back up to the Winchester Stevens City area. I got some really good things in that little town. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera. So I will definitely be making my way back up there. I do want to go up to Strasburg. There are a couple of places there that I didn't get a chance to go to, so I'm probably going to make another trip up that way. This is absolutely adorable, and I almost won one of these on Whatnot last year, but I locked, or I lost out, or missed out, excuse me. <laughs> it's just a squeaker clothespin toy. Um, it is made by Jolly, or this is called the Jolly Blinker, and it's dated 1959. I just thought he was super cute. I don't know why. It's a clothespin. I just couldn't resist him. So he had to come home with me. This piece, I have no idea who makes it. Um, it could either be Jefferson, Northwood, or Dugan. But it was really nice. And the, again, the price was right. So I had to pick it up. No cracks, no chips. Uh, the ends might be a little bit rough for the feet. But that's just absolutely exquisite. If I find out who makes it, I will go ahead and insert a... Uh, little note right here for you all to see. 
So that was a really fun find. I only pick up lady head vases if they are a really reasonable price, and this one definitely was. She did have a chip on her, like, under her nail polish. Under her nail polish. Under her eyelash. And I touched it up with nail polish. Both of those sentences combined there. Now, as you can see, her, one of her fingers is broken. Personally, I don't think that that is a huge deal breaker for me because, you know what? These things were meant to be used, they were meant to be loved, and having a little finger broken off is not the end of the world. Not to me, anyway. Now, granted, there are people out there who are very picky and would like these things to be pristine, but personally, I could care less. And I will say she was only $9. So that's something I'm keeping for myself. I'm also keeping this awesome piece. If you guys don't know who this is, this is Neil the Frog, and this line of housewares was done in the 1970s by Sears. And it is marked Japan on the bottom, has its stopper. There's a little slot for the money. I did look this up because it was $15. And one of them sold, it had a um, starting price of $67.50 and somebody took an offer. So I knew that this was worth buying for the $15. And so Neil and the head base are staying with me. Sorry to disappoint anyone. If I were to sell that Neil the Frog Bank, it would go up on eBay. So I also found a jar of brooches, and I know that a lot of people like the jewelry. So let me go ahead and bring these forward so we can take a better look at them. Alrighty, so there were a total of seven brooches in this like little pickle jar. And of course I wasn't keeping the jar. So we got this one here, it's like of a lab, and it's signed Winchester and has MB design on it. So this very well could have been like something in an artisan store. I really have no idea. I will look it up, of course, just to see if it has any significant value. We got this feather, which I think is really cool. That would be great on a hat or maybe even a suit jacket. Oops, so that's really fun. We got this vintage quote-unquote looking key looks like some of the gold has worn off of it but i still think it's a really fun piece nonetheless we got this little teddy bear one and of course it too is missing some of its gold but it's still a very cute piece i've got a big old e so if you have a name that starts with an e or you know somebody who whose initials or name starts with an E. That'd be a great gift for them. We got this one, and I, I don't know the age of it. It gives me very much like a gay pride vibe because of the rainbows and the heart. So that was a fun little piece. The real reason I bought that bag was for this one. This one is, whoops, I'm sorry. This one is absolutely fantastic. This one looks like it's from the 80s, like when the Deco Revival came around. So I saw that one. I was like, I absolutely love that. There isn't a maker's mark on it, but like I said, I think it is right around the 1980s with the Deco Revival. It is missing a rhinestone right where my thumb is. But even still, it's such a cool piece. I, I couldn't leave it. I haven't done any research on it. Like I said, I will probably look up some of these. If not, they'll come right to a live sale to you. Or if you happen to be interested, just let me know in an email. Skullking95680 at yahoo.com. And the last item I would like to share with you all from my trip to Main Street Classics is this awesome bowling pin cribbage board. I thought this was absolutely fantastic. It's got acrylic feet and an acrylic overlay to protect the wood. And it's even got a cute little skunky. I'm going to move it around so you guys can see it better. There we go. Cute little skunky for that you've gotten skunk mark that you have in cribbage. It is made, I'm sure, as you can tell, of an old bowling pin. And see? Oh, see? There's the bowling pin. And what's even cool about it is it came with the original pegs for cribbage. I showed this to my mom and she flipped. She loves this thing. And I love it too and I cannot believe it was only $5.
I love this piece. And while I don't play much cribbage, I may consider it with an awesome board like this. So folks, that is everything that I would like to share with you all from my trip to Main Street Classics in Stevens City, Virginia. Let me know down below in the comments section what were your favorite items from this haul.